Today, September the 7th, the first international conference in the University of Bethlehem was concluded. Organized by Father Jamal Kehater, the event discussed mainly the relation among Christians and Muslims in different parts of the world. The topics were diverse, such as Christian minorities in the Middle East, Muslim minorities in the Western context, the experience of coexistence in Europe, Middle East and United States, and also the role of personal experience and education in promoting values of cooperation and peace. Father Hatter shares his expectation to future events. Uh, we hope uh, it will be the first in the sense that we will have another one, the second or the third. Uh, it depends on uh, the outcome uh, and the recommendations of uh, this conference. So we will see what we can do as universities and mainly as Catholic universities. What's our role in promoting Christian-Muslim relations? During the conference, a treasure of content composed the presentations. My three regional dialogues were already established and had met at least two times. Some of them had met six times before 9-11. So we already had good relations and good rapport. And when 9-11 happened, all of our regional dialogues turned to discuss religion and violence. But secondly, that week of 9-11, all the leadership on the Muslim side joined the Catholic bishop who headed ecumenical interreligious relations and issuing a statement. So we got that out on Friday. 9-11 was a Tuesday. On, by Friday, we had a statement signed by five Muslim leaders that I mentioned to these organizations and a Catholic bishop. That didn't get much media coverage. The Students and Teachers Initiative of Understanding Better This Complex Scenario of Coexistence Among So Different Point of View can be seen in a metaphor pictured by one of the speakers just to name one of the many personal experiences collected during their lifetime shared in the event. A young Muslim who wrote to me, uh, we are like two sailors and we met in a deep and dark sea because the two of us were willing to see what's on the other side of, of the sea. And it happened we met and he said it's a golden chance for me to meet somebody like you who has a, a long experience. But he said, the captain and the sailors of my boat think you are a pirate and they are afraid you will kidnap me. And he said, I'm disturbed, I don't know what to do, but I want you to know one thing, be sure that I will always continue to build the bridge. And he said, please pray for me as I did for you, your friend Mahmoud. And although the ships are all out in the ocean, one thing is certain, they can meet each other and the fruits of this will come with time and perseverance. Thank you.